Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Have you ever wondered what those white triangles are in Premiere Pro? We're going to talk about what those white triangles are and how they affect transitions. All right, a shout out to Sipsik who asked me about this and then I found other people were asking the same question. They're, they're just not aware of the white triangles. I'm gonna explain what they are, I'll show you what they are, and I'll also show you uh, why they're important when it comes to working with transitions. Let's go have a look. I'm gonna bring in some media that I have here. Right click and import that. And to make a sequence, I'm just going to drag it over to the right hand side. And now I've got my sequence. And if we zoom in, you'll see we have these little white triangles. So you'll see a white triangle at, at each um, end. All right, so let me just take this one and bring it up a little bit so you can see what's going on. And if we play this clip, that's the beginning of that clip and that's the end of that clip the white triangles show the boundary of this clip. If I double click on it and open it in the source monitor, you'll see I have the full clip from one side to another. That's it. They're the boundary of that clip. Every audio and video file will have the white triangles. Graphics files won't because they don't have a fixed duration. You can drag a title out to five seconds or 500 seconds, but clips always have a boundary. And this helps the editor understand if they have more media on the end or on the beginning, if they can pull it off. So you'll see here, I can't, if I'm trying to trim this clip, I can't bring it out. As soon as I trim any of the end, you'll see that white triangle is gone. And when I drag it back, it's back. And you'll notice this, if you're using the Q and the W keys, that I use a lot. So if I want to trim the head here, let me make sure these are all back on V1. Okay. So if I'm going to trim this, I'll tap the Q key and this will basically trim the head, ripple trim uh, to the, with the playhead. Q and you'll notice it's gone. W, Q, W, Q, W. Every single time I'm trimming any of these, the triangles are gone. The full clip is still there. If I double click on this clip and open it up, you'll see this is a zoom area. And if I double click on that zoom area, it will zoom out. And here are the in and out points for that clip. So if I start changing this here, it's gonna change down there. And I'll know if I've gone too far, I can only go so far here and I start hitting that other clip. But that's the in and out point that are not um, at the boundaries of that clip. Okay, so that's the white triangles. Now, how does this affect transitions? I get this question all the time. How come a transition either looks inaccurate or wrong? And that's usually because you're putting it with the boundary of the clip. Let's go have a look at this. All right, let's go back and, and we'll go to the end of this and the beginning of this. So I'm just going to do a ripple trim so you'll see both of these now have the white triangle on here, going from the girl in the boat to the flowers. So if we add our typical dissolve and control D on Windows, command D on Mac, we'll add um, a standard dissolve and you'll get this warning, insufficient media, the transition will contain repeated frames. So Premiere Pro is going to still allow me to drop into transition, but it's telling me there's no media to overlap. And if you don't have overlapping clips, then you don't have a proper transition. How do you get overlapping clips? By having extra media. Uh, handles is, is what they're typically called. Extra media on both sides. How do you get that extra media? By trimming it. Okay, so let's look at this transition here that I've applied and you'll see, see she has stopped. Let's I'll double click and make this a longer transition and you'll see, see she has stopped there. That clip is ended 
and the flowers haven't started yet until there, until we get to that clip. If you select, click once, and go to the effects controls, you'll actually see a little indicator here of how this works. So you can tell that that's where the transition is. And you can see that extra media there. There's the white triangle. That extra media is telling us that Premiere Pro is adding that media and adding that media. So that's why transitions will look odd because they don't have overlapping media. So if we trim this now, so I'm going to tap the W key on the girl with the, in the boat and then the Q key. So now I have overlapping media. Notice the white triangles have disappeared and my transition looks different. Now, when I go to my transition, she's moving the whole time and the flowers are moving the whole time. So there you go. That's what the white triangles are. They're the clip boundaries. And that's why it's important to understand how they affect working with transitions. All right. Sometimes us veterans who have been around for a long time, we miss the simplest things. And that's a really typical one for a new user. They don't really know what those things are. So thanks for, uh, for that uh, request, Sipsik. I appreciate it. And uh, hopefully uh, you've subscribed. And if you're new to Video Reveal, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us some more? Join us on Patreon for as little as $1 a month. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith. It's my job to listen to you and answer your questions about Adobe applications.